And again, it's now 1230. IPL is now under investigation today after these recent underground explosions in downtown Indianapolis. The Indiana Utility Regulatory Commission is taking this rare action of opening up a formal investigation of that utility. This is the work continues to get everything back to normal. Eyewitness News reporter Matt McCutcheon shows us the repairs now underway. Good afternoon. For the foreseeable future, Michigan will be closed between Capitol and Senate, all while there are a handful, just about two businesses without power. This coffee shop right here being one of them. Now, the reason for the road closure, you can see right here, IPL, several crews that are working beneath the ground. 6.45 yesterday morning is when that initial explosion took place with a short that happened right underground. You can see what crews have been busy doing ever since then with all of these lines, all of these wires right here. Those were all beneath the ground that was part of the issue. You can see how a lot of them here are darkened and charred from that explosion and the fire that took place beneath the ground yesterday morning. Right now, it's all about getting all of these out as there is significant infrastructure damage beneath the ground. That has, as you can see, crews that are working. Well, you can't really see them, but they are beneath the ground making repairs and replacements. Several IPL crews will be here getting that job done. Now, here's what is happening right now. While much of the power has been restored again, except for those two businesses, it's temporary because they are on temporary generators. The work to get all of this replaced and back up working beneath the ground could take some time. IPL doesn't quite have a timeline for that, but they do say the goal is to get everyone back with power by the end of the day and to get everyone back on the regular power system and all those temporary generators by the next couple of days. Of course, we'll continue to follow the latest developments here in downtown Indianapolis. For now, Matt McCutcheon, Channel 13 Eyewitness News.